Hi, I'm Jennifer Branch. Did you make a New Year's resolution? Maybe to do some of the things that you are passionate about, some of the hobbies that you love doing, and now it's a few weeks later and you're having some trouble finding the time to do them. Everyone's life is busy. Everyone has too much to do. I'm going to show you that hobbies are not just for weekends. We want to make hobbies, the hobby of painting, an everyday thing, something we do all the time and we love doing. It's not a special occasion. It's something we love doing and have fun doing. So here's some tips in this video to make it easy for you to have fun painting in just a few minutes a day. Here's everything you need to get started painting in watercolor. Not exactly. You don't need half this stuff. You don't need a quarter of this stuff. One of the tricks to making painting an easy, fun, everyday activity is to pair your everyday palette and equipment down to the absolute essentials what you use and enjoy, not all the other stuff. So when you're paring down to the essentials, what I mean is everything that you need to be comfortable painting. Don't bring the stuff that you don't really use, but you think maybe you should or you'd like to try out. If you have 15, 20 minutes, keep it slim. So you need paper. If you're just doing 15, 20 minutes, try a journal. You need a very limited palette. This is about the right number of colors that I can't get away without. I could probably drop one or two of them, but I like having the cool red and warm red, etc. You need a good round brush. I like squirrel for sketching. I personally like a regular old pencil because I can do points in the sides of it. And if you do that, you need a pencil sharpener. If you want to get a little bit less and use a mechanical pencil, terrific. I really like having this because when this is flipping up like this, you can pin it down and pin it down and you're set. You don't have to worry about juggling the paper along with your painting. You need one container to hold water and you need some paper towels or a rack. That's it. That's all you need to start painting. So this is something that you can throw in your purse and still have room for a wallet. If maybe you're going to sketch during your lunch break, spend 15, 20 minutes for you to calm down, relax a little, and have some me time before you go to work. If you're going hiking, this is what I usually use for hiking. And all of it fits nicely inside. And to keep my brushes and things neat, I use this box. And I like having everything in there. That way I can put nice brushes in if perhaps I wanted to do a bit more and bring my whole palette. And this is what I usually end up bringing. I have this to keep paper in because I've had some bad paper incidents. And this will keep everything in, not the journals and that at the same time, unfortunately. You can do this or that. And keep it relatively waterproof without making it not be able to dry out. Um, I always bring at least two pieces of paper, two journals, whenever I go anywhere because otherwise you don't necessarily do it perfectly the first time or one thing may need a little bit of a wash and then to dry and that way with two you can make the most of your painting time. So this is the second tip is always have a go bag. Whether it's a backpack for hiking, whether it's a car painting bag, or whether it's just something you can put in your purse in a Ziploc bag. You always have a go bag to start painting anytime. And that way, even if it's just at the kitchen table, you can take your 15 minutes and really make something incredible. 
So now you have your Go Paint bag and you can set up to paint in a minute or less and you are ready to start, but you only have five minutes. Yeah, it happens. So if you only have five minutes, you could do some brush exercises. Painting just a few minutes every day will help you be in the habit of painting and it's going to be a much more enjoyable activity than if you save painting until the weekends or your big painting trip holiday, which you really want to be practiced before you do your big painting trip holiday. You want to make it, it this as natural as your fingers um, holding a paintbrush. So that's a really easy way is just paint a few minutes every day and you're going to be able to find a lot more time for painting if you limit it to a few minutes instead of thinking painting has to be this big production. So the next tip is pause in between washes. Each wash should take you 15 to 20 minutes to paint. Each painting usually has about three washes. If you take more than 15 to 20 minutes on a wash, it starts getting muddy and looking really heavy and it's just not good painting. So that is a manageable amount of time. You can paint for 15 minutes. You can find 15 minutes. I know you can. And take that couple minutes, paint it, let it, put it to the side and let it dry and then put it back in your go paint bag. And next time you have 15, 20 minutes, do the next wash. Three or four of those, maybe 10, and you'll have a beautiful painting. And it just took you a couple days to do. So don't feel like every single painting has to be an absolutely finished, beautiful painting. The more you paint, the better you're going to get. But it doesn't have to be in half day chunks. If you paint every day, five, 15, 20 minutes, you're going to get better in a remarkably short period of time rather than if you just wait to learn to paint on your holidays. This is something that's fun. It's part of life. I always say I paint life's joy because that's what it's about is remembering the wonderful things that make life special and sharing that joy with other people. Now, you don't have to share all your paintings. Just share the ones that you're really proud of. But all the other ones that maybe were a little scribble, maybe some brush exercises, those are all steps on the road to getting you the most beautiful paintings that you could possibly do. Painting doesn't have to be a special occasion. It should be something that you enjoy every day. So this series is about making everyday painting and sketching possible and a lot of fun. I'm going to give you some tips on making it easier and how to work it into your busy schedule and also I'm going to give some demonstrations in my journal and give you some demonstrations in, um, I usually use the Arsh um, pre-stretched <laughs> paper. So the blocks are really good when your time is limited. I notice I sketch a lot more in blocks lately. We're just going to have some fun painting the everyday joys of life and getting a little bit better at painting and making time for something that you are passionate about something that you love doing and you look forward to instead of thinking it has to be a big production. So let's start sketching every day. I hope you're looking forward to this series as much as I am. Let's paint. <laughs>